Guys, recently I got some brand new packages in the mail, so without further ado, let's just begin reviewing these plushies. The plush we are reviewing is the Stubbins Master Chief plush from Halo. They look at the side tag, and here's the back of it. Here's a closer look at the tush tag. Now, a complaint I have with the Stubbins plushes, and this goes for most of all the Stubbins plushes, is they use, like, printed on color for most of the plushies. So, like, you can see right here for the Fat Princess plush, her dress is all printed on material. And it's just kind of cheap. And what's surprising is most of these Stubbins plushes, if you buy them on, like, eBay or Macari or other websites, depending on what plush you want, they go for, like, 60 to 80 dollars maybe like i know the ellie plush from the last of us and parappa the rappa they're pretty expensive and the sly cooper plush as well goes for a lot of money and some of them are just really hard to find now one thing i do like about stubbins is they do make a lot of merchandise of video game characters that don't get a lot of merchandise made Anyways, the Master Chief plushies, they usually go for around 12 to like $20, depending on who you buy it from on eBay or Macari. You, I believe you can find these still at stores, but I could be wrong. So here's a little comparison of all my other Stubbin plushies I own. Now, there are a few that I own that are kind of rare, like the Ratchet and Clank plushies. And I do like Stubbins because they do make some plushies of video game characters that don't get a lot of merchandise, like the Keeper sack boy and fat princess so anyways here's the master chief plush made by stubbins i do like this plush and there aren't that many halo plushes made i believe but here is my review on the master chief plush so let's move on to the other plushes i've gotten okay so the next one i wouldn't really count this as a plush but it is technically at the same time it's weird we have Hattie from Battle Block Theater. So I bought this plush on the Behemoth Store's website. Here's the side tag and here is the tush tag. So the hat uses felt and the head uses this like fleece material and the eyes, tears, and mouth are stitched onto the plush. Now the reason why I say technically this isn't a plush is because this is a tissue box holder. So you can put like a tissue box in here and the hat dispenses out tissues. So here is like what's underneath the Hattie like plush. It's weird. I don't know. Like, yeah, you can see it's a tissue box holder. Now, this is technically the only like official Hattie plush made. But I don't know why they decide to make him as a tissue box holder. It's just really weird. But then again, this is official. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. But anyways, here's a little comparison of the Castle Crashers Green Knight plush to the Hattie plush. And these two were both made by the Behemoth Store's website. So both of these are official. But sadly, they don't sell the Castle Crasher plushes anymore, I don't believe. I haven't seen one pop up on their website in a while. But they still have this Hattie tissue box holder thing on their website still. And it's kind of cheap. It's like... 12 maybe 15 dollars i believe and for the only like hattie like plush i would say it's kind of worth it but if you don't want to drop that much money on a tissue box thing then make i guess you could just make your own plushie of hattie or find one on etsy but anyways here's the official hattie plush thing i don't even know if you would even consider this as a plush but then again, the, the tag says so, so I, I I don't know. So with that weird Hattie tissue box plush thing out of the way, let's review the last plush I got, being the Ina plush. And I pre-ordered this plushie in December, I believe. And I'm so glad that this plushie finally came in. So here's a closer look at the tush tag, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I know I'll say it completely wrong. But the other tag has a first edition on it. Because this is the first edition, like, plush I ordered. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. So, this plushie you can still order. I will put a link to the website of where I bought this on. And what's a really weird but kind of cool feature about this plush is the back has, like, Velcro on it. So, you could technically remove the clothing. But 
that's going to be a pain to take off and put back on. And even the socks or the little shoes you can remove. So, like, that, it's really weird, but it's kind of cool feature. So, the plush is really, really soft, and the clothing is made out of nylon. A strange thing about this plush is that it doesn't come with a, like, side tag. It only has, like, the two little tush tags in the plush itself. So, um, there isn't really any side tags on this plush. And so here are the three brand new plushies that I've recently gotten throughout this few weeks. I believe I got Hattie and Ina last week. And I got the Master Chief plush on Monday, I believe. So I'm a little bit behind on reviewing these guys. But I just decided to go on ahead and review these three plushies all together. So here they are. I'm also going to be showing a uh, brand new custom plush because I made a new one. Being Ellie from The Last of Us. The reason why I made this plush is because, like I said with me reviewing the Master Chief plush, the Ellie plush is expensive and really, like, hard to find. So, I just decided to make my own, like, custom plushie of her. So, for the eyebrows, they're just brown pieces of felt and the eyes are green pieces of felt. The mouth is colored on using Sharpie, but I might make, like, a an actual mouth for her, like, Get some black felt, maybe, but I'm not sure. Here's the front of the plush. Here's the side. Here is the back, and here's her little backpack. And here's the other side, and here's the little tattoo on her arm. It's not the best thing I've ever made, but it kind of works, I guess. Little freckles on her face are just Sharpie. And goes with the little details on her shirt. The best part to make about this plush is definitely the hair. It was a pain to make. The feature I gave my Ellie plush is you can remove the backpack. You can't open it though. You can just remove it from her. So there's that. Here's a little size comparison of my custom Ellie to a Stubbins plush. They're about the same height. Maybe Ellie's a little bit taller. But here is my custom Ellie plush from The Last of Us.